Okay, now under this topic, physical quantity, we have done basic physical quantity, we have done derived and their unit. Now the uses of base units. So there are four uses in our syllabus. Number one use is to check homogeneity of equation. Now the question is, what is the homogeneity of the equation? Suppose we take this simple equation, which is V is equal to U plus AT. V is the final speed. U is the initial speed. A is the acceleration. T time. So there are four physical quantities. One, two, three, four. But this equation has three terms. One, two, and this is single term because both quantities are multiplied. So first we have to look at the number of the terms in the equation. If the unit of each term in the equation same is same, then the equation is called homogeneous. Look, three terms. So first is speed, so units meter per second. Second, speed meter per second. Third, acceleration meter per second square multiplied by time second canceled. So look, it becomes meter per second, meter per second, and meter per second. So three terms of same unit. So the equation is homogeneous. We don't have to add, subtract, no concern, only with the unit of the term. Similarly, if the equation is S is equal to UT one by two AT square, it has three terms, one, two, and three. So we have to deal only with the units, not addition, not subtraction. So S is the distance, it's units meter, U speed, meter per second, time second, one by two is a number, no unit. Acceleration, meter per second square, time second due to square. Why well, you have to write square? Now this square cancel with square, this cancel with it, so meter, 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 each term has same unit. So equation is homogeneous. Now similarly, V square is U square plus two AS. One, two, three terms. This is speed. So we will write meter per second, but square. This initial speed, meter per second, but square. Two, no unit. Acceleration, meter per second square. And S distance, meter. Now simplify it. It becomes meter per second square, meter square, meter square over second square. So this is also meter square over second square, meter square, second square. And this is meter square, second square. Look. Three units are same, so this equation is homogeneous. Okay, now suppose we have equation, pressure is equal to rho GH plus one by two rho V square. P is the pressure, rho is the density, G is the acceleration, H is the depth, rho density, V speed. So first of all, we have to write the unit for the pressure. 
Look, the pressure is equal to force divided by area. Force is measured in kilogram meter second power minus two area meter square. So meter cancelled. So the unit of the pressure becomes kilogram meter power minus one second power minus two. Now the second term density is kilogram per meter cube. Acceleration is meter per second square. And this depth is meter. Next one by two has no unit. Density is kilogram per meter cube multiply by the speed meter per second and its square. So we have to simplify it. This is simplified. It can be written as kilogram meter square over meter cube second power two meter square cancel one left it becomes kilogram meter power minus one second power minus two and the next look at this it is kilogram meter square over second square over meter cube this meter square cancel one left so finally kilogram meter power minus one second power minus two Units in all terms same. So this is a homogeneous equation. Next. Number two is finding unit of any unknown physical quantity. So the equation will be given, a quantity will be new, will be unknown, and we have to find out its unit. For example, equation is given, F is equal to CRV. Along with the equation, it is given that the equation is homogeneous, F is the force, R is the radius, V is the speed and the C is unknown. Find the unit of this unknown physical quantity. So we will write unknown as a subject of the equation. C is equal to F divided by RV. So F unit kilogram meter second power minus two radius meter speed meter per second. Now we have to simplify one meter cancelled. So it is kilogram. This meter comes up with minus sign, second power minus two, the second comes up with plus one. And finally, the unit of C, kilogram meter power minus one, second power minus two plus one mean kilogram meter power minus one, second power minus one. So this is the unit of C, unknown. Similarly, if equation is given six pi eta RV, similar to the first, six is the number, pi is the number, and this n mean the eta is unknown, r is the radius, v is the speed, f is the force. So we will write eta as a subject of the equation. It is f divided by six pi r v. So first write the unit of this force, kilogram, meter, second power minus two, six has no unit, pi has no unit, radius meter speed meter per second cancelled so kilogram this meter come up minus one second power minus two plus one so this kilogram meter power minus one second power minus one so the c and eta both are the same they have same unit 
for some time, this question will be f is equal to CRV, and sometime instead of C, six pi eta will be written. So same unit. Now suppose we have another equation, f is equal to g m1 m2 over d square. f is the force, g is question mark unknown, m1 is the first mass, m2 is the second mass, and these are the distance, and the question is, find the unit of G, equation is homogeneous. So we will make this G subject of the equation, it becomes F D square over M1, M2. Now the force, kilogram, meter, second power minus two, this distance meter, but square, M1 kilogram, M2 also kilogram. So one kg is cancelled. Now this kilogram will come up. It becomes kilogram power minus one, then meter, second power minus two, then meter square. So finally, it is kilogram power minus one, meter into meter square, meter power three, and second power minus two. You can write them in any other you can write it S power minus two, kilogram power minus one, M3, no difference. But this unit will remain same. Okay, now the use number three is, we have to decide about unknown whether it is a physical quantity or just a number. Mean unknown is a physical quantity or just a number. So if it's a physical quantity, then it will have some units. If it's a number, then no unit. Mean in this case, we have to also find, calculate, determine the unit. For example, the question is, F is equal to K M V square over D. And the question is, F is the force, M is the mass, V is the speed, D is the distance, decide about this unknown, whether it's a physical quantity or just a numerical value. So similar to the number two example. So we will find out the unit of K. So it becomes F times D divided by MV square we will write the unit of force, this kilogram, meter, second power minus two, this distance, meter, mass in kilogram, speed, meter per second, but square, due to be square. Now, this kilogram is cancelled, so we are left with meter squared, second power minus two, divided by, after opening the bracket, meter squared, second power minus two, cancelled, no unit, so K is not a physical quantity, it is just a number. And next, for example, F is equal to K Q square over D square. F is the force, Q is the charge, D is the distance, and this K is unknown, and we have to decide whether it's a physical quantity or it's a number. So first, Q charge can be written as IT, so its unit will be ampere second. So we'll make K as a subject of the equation. It is K FD square over Q square. Force is measured in kilogram meter, second power minus two, 
distance in meter but square. Now Q is measured in ampere second and square. Now simplify it. So it becomes kilogram meter second power minus two meter square divided by ampere square second square. And finally, it is kilogram meter power three ampere power minus two second power minus four